absolutely delighted. Um, the difference in facilities is significant, you know, when you go into the classrooms, the kitchens, the, the patisserie room, the rest coming to the restaurant into a space like this. It's lovely, it's bright, airy, lots of space to work, lots of space to learn. So yeah, we're delighted. And all the students took the took to the transition, it seems to have gone quite smoothly. Really smoothly, yeah. It's been a challenging build project this. Um, and actually we were concerned about making sure we didn't um, disrupt the learning of students. But actually we moved in on a Thursday and Friday started teaching on the Monday, we didn't miss one lesson, so yeah, and the students actually got involved in the move as well, and it was useful, I think, for, for instance, catering students to understand about how to set up a restaurant or a food production facility, and they may have to do that in their own career, so yeah, it's a good, good learning experience. Obviously the building, like you say, was sort of beset by delays and stuff, did it ever get frustrating, yeah. or was it just a matter of being patient? And I think it was... It was slightly frustrating, but it was out of our control. There was nothing we could do, and I got used to saying it is what it is, you know, and uh, you just have to work with what you've got, don't you? But uh, what we have got is an amazing state of the art building now, so we're absolutely delighted. So yeah. you mentioned it at the start, but well, just tell us some of the state of the art facilities then that you've got, like the bakeries and salons. We've got this lovely space we're in now, so this is a flexible space. It will be used as our restaurant, so the 60 cover, uh, our 60 seat restaurant that will be open for commercial dining and service but we can use it in a bigger way as well for an event flexible event space we've got a big commercial high street salon hair beauty nails um, as well as six other training salons we've got an airline cabin which is being um, fitted in as we speak we're just finalizing that they're just finishing it um, we have got mac suites computer suites um, we've got electric or induction kitchens we've got gas kitchens as well Cicerys, um session and uh, section and a chocolate room as well. Yeah. So how was it benefited obviously being next to the Clarendon building in the centre of Ashton and how the students took to being uh, in this environment? The feedback's been really positive and actually it's been very much about it being a learning zone. So um, the road outside or in between Clarendon and Termside one has been pedestrianised as well and it's got a much more of a learning feel to it and it's great being co-located with the library which is an absolutely amazing space, I don't know if you've been in there but if you've not, go in and have a look, it's it's stunning. And I know there's plans in the pipeline for the a new construction building as well on the Bowfoot Road so it's just... Yeah, um, as one finishes another one starts literally, so we've got a £10 million construction advanced skills centre being built, that'll be ready about Christmas 2020. Uh, we've just heard that planning approval has gone through for that building and it'll be, it gives us some of the best estate in the North West, if not in the country, for, for education. So we're really lucky that this college has longer term saved its resource and, and has got the capital to invest, as well as getting some support as well from the combined authority. So yeah, here we go again.